Today we're opening the new 2022 Megatons. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and we have six of the newest 2022 Megatons. I'm hitting them right now. We will be opening them in this video and yes, this is a new set so we will be giving away every single pull out of all six tens today. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what your favorite card from this set is. There's a lot of great reprints so go ahead and do that because this is going to be a pretty epic giveaway. Let's just hop right into the opening. I want to remind you guys that Sassy Auto has code RUX and Special available for $10 off when you buy a case of these tins. That's $165 after the $10. Very cheap for the new tins, so go check it out if you guys want some as well. I'm going to open these up. Let's go. I got these six from my locals. I'll be getting cases from Sassy Auto myself coming in tomorrow or the next day, and we'll be doing a live stream uh, opening up a bunch of that. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to be super fun. Let's start off with our first ever 2022 gold sarcophagus megaton let's see what we can pull we have three packs there's some amazing cards in here there's some really awesome reprints like ash blossom and stuff like that we're trying to pull all this stuff for you guys so i hope that you guys can get some really really nice cards first opening let's go we got the guitar gunards what in the world is happening the goo the gun can sue ship very nice b trooper scale bomber b trooper squad we got the Eda, the sun magician all right Sacred Tree Beast, Hyperton, Heavy Metaphors, Emilgam, Radiant. We've got the Live Twin Key Skill Frost as a super. That's a nice reprint. The True Sun God. There's the Winged Dragon of Raw. We got the Breath of Acclamation and a Lord of the Heavenly Prison. That's a pretty good reprint. Look at that rarity. It looks really beautiful. Only one of those every 10, so it's going to be hard to pull those nice reprints that are secret rares. All right, next pack. There's only going to be 18 packs in this video because, you know, there's three per uh, 10 and we have six 10s. So it's not a ton of packs, but it's a ton of cards because the mega packs have how many cards inside? It doesn't tell you on the... Used to say how many cards. Oh, 18 per pack at the bottom left. Okay, I see it. Arm Dragon Blitz. Let's go. Let me know if you guys are excited about these 10s. I'm pretty excited. I think there's some really, really cool reprints. And I think they're going to be really beautiful in the Prismatic Secret Rarity. Arm Dragon Lightning. The Flip Frozen. Magic Key Unlocking. Laval Vol X Lord. Cool. Goki Finishing Move, the Machina Ruin Force, a very cool card for Machina decks. Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx, what in the world is this? Pharaonic Guardian mixed with Guardian Sphinx, that's pretty cool. Machina Unclasper, Unclasper, okay, Machina stuff. Rainbow Bridge of Salvation, a secret rare. All right, so far we are looking for that Ash, that, uh, what else is in here? I'm forgetting, the Lightning Storm. Uh, it's like everything, basically. Like I feel like Droplets in. Is Droplet in here again? I can't remember. The Heavy Bee Trooper at Mighty Neptune. We'll find out, hopefully. Denier, we got the Metaphors Vanisher, the Meows Click, Gung and Sue Ship, Uni. Okay, nice. The You and I. You and I. We got the Judge of the Ice Barrier, the Live, Live Twin Lilith Tree, the Dan Mary Ignister, the Dogmatic Genesis. I don't remember this card. Where is that from? Uh, Soul Energy Max. And we've got Albion and the Branded Dragon, a pretty nice one. Uh, also, Crossout Designator is a secret rare. Dragoon, DPE, aren't they both in here too? I think it's something like that. That was probably our best secret rare so far. We've got five tens to go. This is going to be pretty sick. These are always some of the most hyped products of the year. I think this is definitely more hyped than last year. Last year was like Crossout and TTT, and that was kind of it. In terms of like big hitters, there's a lot of big hitters this year. Oh, and I forgot to mention the blue eyes and the dark magician girl, and I think the red eyes, or maybe dark magician, I don't remember. There's a ton of, uh, or a few old school cards that we can pull, so hopefully we'll pull those as well. Let's see what we can get. We have a Arm Dragon Thunder Level 5, Ice Jade Tenola, Ultra B Trooper Absolute Hercules, the Dragoonity Knight. Remember when people are excited about B Trooper? I don't think anybody's played him. Super Neutral Danger Zone, the Konomaly Magella. Oh, we got a Ruxin Special, Stained Glass of Light and Dark, the Pegasus Twin Saber, the Gunkin Sue Ship. Oh, this got a Super Rare? That's actually sick. He used to be a common, so that's pretty cool. The Abyss Keeper, that's an Ultra, the DD Assault Carrier. And a Viner of the Herald. This is a pretty big reprint because I don't think this had a reprint before this. And it was like a $70 card for a while. I don't know if it was still that or not. But still a pretty big reprint right there. That's a really nice secret, you guys. Can win in the giveaway, so make sure to enter it. Also, uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel because at 150k, opening every single pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! Including this. This is the newest pack, so we're going to be opening it. Fabled, we got the Guitar. Uh, Gennards, we got the Scale Bomber. Star Mine. We got the Fabled Treason. Psychic Eraser Laser. That used to be a super. Now it's a common. I Rux and Special the Rare every time. What is going on with the name? Really, Ona's a little bit. Uh, the print there is a little weird. The Wondrous 2, Majestus. It's looking a little whack. Arm Sage. We got the uh, Sun Avalon Daphne from uh, Scooby Doo. 
We got Dogmatic and Genesis, the Super Sight King Zero Maxwell. Oh, and an Ash Blossom and Joyous Springs. That is one of the coolest ones. Check that rarity out, guys. Let me know, guys. Would you prefer the original secret or this one? Because, I mean, it's going to be tough to beat. I mean, that's a pretty nice secret rare right there. That is beautiful. The Ash Blossom and Joyous Springs. We're going to have to add that one to the thumbnail, potentially. That's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. All right. Second 10 has been fire. I mean, we pulled a Diviner and an Ash Blossom. Okay. Looking good. You guys have some good stuff to come. Let's go. Ad Libitum, we got the Steel Star, Spendable Die, Stellar Wolf, Wind Wolf, we got the Beat Trooper Light Flapper. Oh, Ruxin Special, the rare again, Beat Trooper, Scout Buggy, it's messed up again on the name. Very weird on those rares. Book of Lunar Eclipse was a Starlight, now it's a Super. Okay, we got the Radiant, the Dragon Lark, Stardust Trail, Despian Q, that's just what I'm going to call him, but pretty nice. Um, that's a nice reprint uh, rarity for that one. Also, I want to do the classic new opening reminder that if you are buying singles for this set on TCG Player, the prices will be higher than they probably will be later until Friday. So keep an eye out for Friday. That's when everyone will be able to post their singles, like people like me and you. Uh, we'll actually be able to sell on there. On, you don't have to be a verified store or whatever. And so you'll be able to get a better price at that point. So try and wait for that before you start spending a bunch of money on the singles. For the most part, they're usually going to go down after that. So keep that in mind. Uh, not always down, but usually they go down. We got the level three. We got the Hercules, Inganar. We got the Chronomaly, Magella. Another Rux Special Pass, the rare Ghost Sister at Spooky Dogwood. Nice super rare print. I don't know anybody uses that one right now, but a lot of people like it. It's a hand trap. Little tree. We got the Dogmatic and Genesis again for like the fifth time in a row. Soul Energy Max and a Greater Polymerization. Okay, this is kind of a weird one. Okay, greater polymerization. It happens. It's something. Two packs left in this third tin. Then we'll be halfway through this opening. So far, I think a pretty epic opening. We've done pretty well. We've pulled some good stuff. You guys can win all of it. The Intrust, the level three, the Floundries, the Black Eyes. Uh-oh, Rux and Special Pass, the rare. Let's just get used to it at this point. The Ghost, Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill, the original aren't. Super rare. The Impen. Okay, super. What did this used to be? Secret, right? Yeah, it used to be a secret. Abyss Keeper, nice. The Stardust Trail, and a... Ooh, a Luber! A Luber got another printing, so that uh, that Ultra Rare reprint from, what is it, Ghost from the Past 2? Gonna be worth, like, two bucks now, but that's a beautiful copy of it. Beautiful, beautiful. We are pulling some good stuff so far. I think we're doing pretty well, so... I mean, we've only had, like... This will be our ninth secret. I feel like half of them have been bangers, so we've done really well. The, uh, the Gares Glasser or something? Fabled? The Vanisher also heard that like Ash is like half print, so it's probably actually pretty hard to pull some of these. Uh, Light Flapper, we got a Rux and Special again. Let's not be shocked. Book of Lunar Eclipse. The Pegasus Twin Saber. Nibiru is an ultra rare in here. Okay, another printing of that. Baby Mud Dragon. And we have a ZS Ascended Sage. I don't think this is too bad of a card, but not too crazy, but still pretty sick. We got more Gungan Sushi ships, so if you like sushi, there you go. All right, halfway through the opening so far. Pretty awesome stuff. Ash Blossom is pretty amazing. Excited about that. Let's go. Tenth pack of the opening. Crazy, like only ten packs. You know, it's it's slow and steady when it comes to the number of packs, but some amazing pulls. The Tri Brigade Rendezvous. We got the Lightning. Steel Star Regulator. The <laughs> Regulator. You, you and I. Aero Pixie. We got the Rux and Special Classic Past the Rare. Machina Ruin Forest. Pretty nice. The Live Twin Lilitreet. Zexal Construction. The DD Assault Care. I haven't even seen some of these cards before. And then. Oh, a DPE Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Remember how long it took us to pull this in Starlight? We pulled it very quickly. I feel like you can't see the prismatic too well on this card. Yeah, that's a little disappointing, but still pretty cool. What was I going to say? I forgot because that we pulled the DPE. Oh, yeah, I remember Pot Prosperity is in here, and that's one of the biggest cards because that's the first time it's been reprinted. So Pot of Prosperity is a big one. It was like 140 in the Secret Rare before, so that's definitely going to be a nice pull in whatever the value is out of this. Uh, Plunder Patrol, the Danger Zone, Armed Dragon Flash. We did a Ruxa Special. Let's go. So, my sister in Spooky Dogwood. We get the Lilith Treat again. War Rock Skylar. Ooh, got to play those War Rocks. Very powerful. Farfa, looking at you. Nibiru, the Primal Being. And, ooh, that's being Q. I feel like we're pulling a lot of bangers. Like, they're all pretty good cards so far out of the Secret Rare slot, which is pretty good. Final pack of the fourth 10. That would be two thirds of the way through the opening. We are getting there. Heavy Bee Trooper, Mighty Neptune, Denier, the Stairway to the Fabled Realm, the Underroot, Light Flapper. 
Wolf Freight. We are not Rex and Specialing. Yeah, it tried to, but we didn't throw on the Discipled Angel. Ghost Sister, or Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. There we go. I can't get that name right for some reason. Flow Under is an Impin, the True Sun God, the Raw, Breath of Acclamation, and we have a Small World. Okay, this was a pretty expensive card, so I think that's a pretty good hit as well. Things like 20 bucks, so earn the original secret, so that's probably worth a couple bucks. Two tins to go. So far, we have pulled a nice variety out of the secret slots. We've pulled a lot of good stuff. We haven't pulled any of like the uh, Dark Magician Girl or anything like that. That would be pretty cool, but uh, we'll have to maybe save that for the live stream, potentially get that. Only six total packs to go in this opening. Let's see if we can get one of the classic throwback secrets. That would be pretty sick. I think they're pretty hard to pull. Hidden Springs, Tribe Again Rendezvous, the Cordius, the Star Mine, Flying Red Carp, Rocket Caliber, Flounder is an Eglin, Ice Trade Tamora, the Masquerade, the Blazing Dragon, super rare, nice. Mimicking Maneater Bug, oh yeah, that card's pretty crazy. Rebuild Deer, and a Albion, the Branded Dragon. So we're really looking at Albion and Branded kind of stuff. Today, we've got two of those. We've got two of the Deaths being Q, so looking pretty promising for that one. Let's go to the next pack. Can we pull it? Can we open it? Will it be the Dark Magician Girl, the Blue Eyes White Dragon? Let's go Arm Dragon Blitz, the uh, Seal Star Regulator, Zexel and Trust, the Oro Picks 3, the Black Eyes, the Plunder Patrol, Sea Guide, the Monster Assortment, we did Rux the Special, Beast King Unleashed, Paleozoic Cambro Rester, the Contract with the Abyss. Okay, that's an interesting reprint. True Sun God again, third time, and a Lord of the Heavenly Prison. We got another one of these. That's also pretty good, so we will take that. I also just noticed that White Baking is in here, so that's hilarious. Okay, White Baking. One more pack in our final... Or not our final 10, our second to last 10. Let's see what we can do. Basil Rose Shoot. Okay, decent reprint. That was a super, I think, before. Despian Comedy, also pretty good. Under Root, Yammer Remora. We got... That was wrong. Psychic Razor Laser. We got the uh, Rare. We did Rux and Special. The Kalaria. The Winter Cherries. This is getting an ulti soon, which is interesting. Breaking Ruin God. The War Rock Skylar. Beautiful. Yeah, just what we want. And a Greater Paul. I'm hoping for Cross out every time we're getting Greater Polymerization. Okay. That's not too great, but that's okay. We still have one more tin to open. All right, final tin. Our final three packs of this opening. Uh, so far, some pretty amazing pulls. I think we've slowed down a bit. We started off extremely high, but let's see if we can pull another uh, one of the big ones. We got a Zortless, a uh, Garrus Glasser, the Star Mine, Stairway of the Fabled Realm. We got the Fairy Archer in Gunnar, Rocket Caliber, the Magic Key Fiend Transferable Mine. The Beast King Unleashed. We got the Ghost Sister and Squeaky Dog, but we have a playset by now. Start of Synchron. This was a secret rare in Dawn of Majesty. The Alvain, the Essence of Vanity. This was like a common in an OTS pack, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. And then a Rainbow Bridge of Salvation. We have pulled that one before. So another secret rare. White Baking is added again. Two packs to go. Let's do this, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this first tin opening from my channel, at least. Uh, and uh, let me know what you guys' experience with these tins have been so far. If you picked up any at your locals or whatever in the comments, let me know. We got the B, B Trooper Scale Bomber, B Trooper Squad. We got the Magic Key Dragon, Flutteries in the Scary Sea, Despia Theater, the Branded, Ice J Tremora, Screams of the Branded, the Dark Eye Nightmare, Contract with the Abyss, and we have a Link into the Vrains. Okay. Link into the Vrains. That's a cool card. I don't know where that originally was printed, or is that a new card? That might be a new card, I feel like. Or like an import or something like that, because I don't think I've seen that one. Final pack of this opening. Been a pretty good opening so far. Let's end it with a banger, like a Pot of Prosperity or another Ash or something. We have Magnificent Magic-E Maftiel, Hidden Springs of the Far East, Ice Jade Acti, the Arm Dragon Lightning, Fluunderese in the Dreaming Town, Sacred Tree Beast Hyperton, the Rank Up Magic Zexel Force. Uh, that was a super, I remember I liked that one. The Slower Swallow got a super rare. Okay, interesting. The Trap Trick Kalaria. Dark Ruler No More is a Ultra in here. Okay, that's one of the better Ultras we pulled. Probably the best one so far. The Autishamashi. This is the starter from like Gen 6 in Pokemon or whatever Gen it is. Then we have a... Oh, a Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Actually, a really good pull. Very nice secret rare. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. That's a good way to end it right there. A nice hand trap. Very solid. And then Sunny Snitch got a common printing, which is good because I think the supers are around a dollar. That was an awesome opening. If you guys want to buy some of these yourselves and you haven't gotten any yet, check out Sassiato's link down below in the description. Use code Rux and Special for $10 off your case. It's about $165 per case. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content. And don't forget to enter the giveaway to win all of these cards in this video.
Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trusted Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tone Fo Show, and then a tie show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.